Hello, I'm Diana Jeffries, best-selling author of five novels, including The Tea Planter's Wife, Before the Rains, and the new one, The Sapphire Widow. The Sapphire Widow is the story of Louisa Reeve, a young woman married to a charming but thrill-seeking husband. His name is Elliot, and they seem to be the couple who have it all, except for the one thing they really want, a child. So today I'm going to give you a sneak peek into The Sapphire Widow and read you a few pages from the point where Elliot has died in an accident and left Louisa with many questions. Louisa gulped back a sob and got off the phone. The raw pain of losing Julia had never gone away, never would. And now this too. And that was when she began to cry. Everyone had been so kind, but she'd been so determined not to believe the evidence of her own eyes. It was only now, when she understood he wouldn't be coming home anymore, that she allowed herself to feel it. She went to her bedroom, drew the curtains and curled up on her bed, hugging her pillow and sobbing until her eyes felt swollen and her face was puffy. She cried for her own loss, but she also cried for Elliot himself to be cut off so young, deprived now of ever having the chance to be a father. Nothing about this was fair. And when she was finally silent, all emotion spent, it was then she heard his voice saw him talking, laughing, making love, see, not dead, not dead at all. The world she now inhabited shocked her, as did the fact she could somehow inexplicably still be alive while he was not, and so she tried to talk to him. But he was gone again, and his absence was something so big, so terrifying, she could not comprehend it. How was it possible to be and then not be? But strangely, the absence was not an empty space. It was full of images and memories and the feelings attached to those, as well as the feelings that sprang from knowing there would be no more memories. She spoke to him out loud. Where are you, Elliot? Where have you gone? But there was no answer. And when she asked him why he'd lied about going sailing, when he was really going to Colombo and secretly driving somebody else's car too, the silence curdled inside her. And in that silence, she imagined awful things. So that was a couple of pages from my new book, The Sapphire Widow, out in paperback now, and I can't wait to hear what you think. If you'd like to hear more from me, you can follow me on Twitter, at Dinah Jeffries, or on Facebook, just search for Dinah Jeffries Author. You can also join my Readers Club for updates and competitions, and you do that via the website, www.dinahjeffries.com. That's everything for now. Thanks very much for watching.